Over the past couple of months, LLMs or large language models such as ChatGPT have taken the world by storm. Whether it's writing poetry or helping you plan your upcoming vacations, we are seeing a big step change in the performance of AI and its potential to bring enterprise value. But large language models aren't new. The first AI language can be traced back to 1966. So what is a LLM and why is it so popular today? Well, a large language model is an instance of something else called a foundation model. Now, foundation models are pre-trained on a large amount of unlabeled and self-supervised data, meaning the model learns from patterns in the data in a way that produces generalizable and adaptable outputs. LLMs are trained on vast datasets of text, including books, articles or conversations. There is no universal accepted figure on how large an LLM training dataset can be, but it's typically in the range of petabytes. It's an enormous amount of text data. So to put that into perspective, let's say a text file with a size of one gigabyte can contain about 178 million words. There are a lot of words in just one gigabyte. And how many gigabytes are in a petabyte? A single petabyte is equivalent to one million gigabytes. To give an idea, a human brain is believed to store two and a half petabytes of memory data. And it's not only that. LLMs are amongst the biggest models when it comes to parameter counts. A parameter is a value the model can change independently as it learns. And the more parameters the model have, more complex it can be. ChatGPT4, for example, has 1.7 trillion parameters. LLM training typically involves multiple steps, starting with unsupervised learning, during which the model starts to derive relationships between the words and concepts. This is then fine-tuned with supervised learning. The data then pass through a transformer, enabling the LLM to recognize relationships and connections using a self-attention mechanism. This allows the model to build a comprehensive understanding of the sentence structure and the meanings of the words. During training, the model learns how to predict the next word in a sentence. So, for example, the sun is a... It starts with a random guess. The sun is a table. Through iteration, the model adjusts its internal parameters to minimize the difference between its predictions and the actual outcomes. If you want to know more about how the model can minimize those differences, please refer to my video, Vector Databases. And the model keeps doing this gradually improving its words predictions until it gets a current sentence. Forget about table, it can figure out very easily star. The sun is a star. Now after that training, the model can fine-tune into a very specific and a small data set. In fine-tune, the model redefines his understanding to be able to perform a specific task much more accurately. Fine-tuning is what allows a general language model to become an expert on a specific task. Once the LLM is trained, it can serve as the foundation of any AI application. LLM have the ability to generate text, translate languages, summarize or rewrite content, organize content, analyze the sentiment of content such as humor, and chat naturally with the user. They are fast, accurate, flexible and easy to train. However, users should heed caution with LLMs because they come with a number of challenges. What are those challenges? The cost of deployment and operation bias, depending on what data it was trained on. And then AI hallucinations, where responses not based off of the training data troubleshooting complexity and glitch tokens or words or inputs malicious designed to make the LLM malfunction. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. Bye bye.